Brian Lighton is a former student of mine who now works as a professional television and film producer and director and had contacted us and during the discussion he said, I've got a great idea for a project that the students at the electronic media program could be involved in. And that was the foundation of the Gold Rush project. The project started because I worked on the Gold Rush adventure race in 2011 and I walked away with a ton of footage and nothing to do with it. I did a conference call with Professor Burke and he liked the idea, so we started writing a proposal for the class. This project would not be possible without funding from the University of Cincinnati's UC Forward Initiative. The initiative emphasizes interdisciplinary learning. It emphasizes experiential learning. And then it's also supposed to be a transformative experience for the students, something unique, something special. This is the second year of the project. We flew nine students out to Yosemite Park in California to film the race. Today is the second day we've been here. We got in to California yesterday. For a lot of us, it's kind of our first time doing this sort of thing, so they kind of gave us a really nice crash course on adventure racing. This morning, we started our first round of workshop. Brian gave us some tips on producing. We went to Professor Burke, and he took us through documentary scene structure. We did some yoga, which I thought was really relaxing, especially uh, once I started working a camera, I like kind of used some of the, the new posture things that we talked about and it really helped out. We actually uh, got to fly the helicopter with uh, the camera mounted on with Sam Soloway. Some audio stuff with Mike. We got to see, you know, pretty good perspective on different aspects of the filmmaking process that we'll be using uh, for the adventure race. I'm in graphic design and DAP, so I actually don't have any experience out here shooting, and so this is all new for me. Oh, it's awesome having the professionals here because it helps give us a better hands-on experience because it's people that actually know what they're doing and are guiding us along. It's a five-day non-stop race, and the racers are going non-stop, and we have to go non-stop because we don't know when the team's gonna come into a checkpoint. If we try and go out in the wilderness a little bit to find them, we don't know when they're coming, so we have to be ready. We are stuck in a tent. It is hailing outside. We are kind of stuck here for a while. <laughs> so, I'll see if we're alive in a couple hours. We were just absorbed in it, and that was it. Like, you didn't worry about how tired you were. You weren't worried about how hungry you were. Uh, it was just a completely immersive experience, and while it was grueling and it wasn't exactly what I expected, it was a lot of fun. So now we're back at the University of Cincinnati, and we're moving into the post-production process. We have students from three different colleges on the UC campus, from the College Conservatory of Music, the College of Design, Architecture, Art, and Planning, and from the McMicken College of Arts and Sciences. We have a, a professor in the Graphic Communication Design program heading up a group of eight students there. This working process is complex because we like to get different perspectives constantly. On the motion team, we are working on motion graphics that will be integrated within the documentary, such as lower thirds and bumper titles. This is a necessary process and students are learning a lot more than usual because of that. The interdisciplinary work is a lot of fun. Working with other students brings in new insights that being on Just the Motion team I might not have by myself. I think those kind of ideals uh, help prepare the students for the real world because they're, they're going to go outside of the classroom. They're going to interact with students from outside of their area. Our end goal is just to produce a quality product that everyone is happy with. Everyone being myself, Professor Burke, the students, the racers, all the organizations that were associated with the Gold Rush Adventure Race. If everyone in that group is satisfied, then I'm satisfied. We came up with a tagline to represent the three components of the project, and that's number one, that it's educationally grounded, two, it's professionally driven, and number three, it's student produced. 